Hey everyone, Jay Baller here, and I'm going to show you how to change your 3G icons to say 4G LTE. Um, do a backup. Strongly recommend doing a backup before you attempt to do this. Because um, if you do something goes wrong, you change something you're not supposed to change, system doesn't like it, whatever. Uh, you could get stuck in a blue loop, all that. You could go really far. So you just do a backup just to be safe. Um, if you don't know too much about the Android routing, you haven't really gone too much in depth with it, I would stay away from trying to do this until you really get a full grasp of what you're doing on here, because you don't want to be changing stuff in Ninja Morph if you don't know what you're doing. But, um, over here I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do this. And a couple things you're going to need, you're going to need the, um, Ninja Morph application, and you're going to need the files with the 4G LTE in there. But um, I already have them in here, and I'm going to have that out to all my subscribers on there, so you definitely want to subscribe. And I'm going to show you right here. Here we go, how to do this. i uh, got my Droid X here, and I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, <clears throat> let's see, where are we going to go here? Now, I changed it back. I had the 4G, but I changed it over back to the, say, 3G. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a little blurry there. But it says 3G in red on there. I just put it in red so it can kind of stick out more. But that says 3G, and let's go ahead and change that. So just go a quick run through. We're going to go into your draw, and you're going to go to the Ninja Morph application. You want to download this, you can download this free out of the Android market. Go into Ninja Morph. It says, before we can again, do a few checks. You click Start Checks. Now from there, ask for Super User Rights, and it gives you the rights. And you continue from there. You're going to click on New Project. Now you're going to stroll where it says System at the bottom. Don't ask me why you're doing this or where you're going or explaining. Because I don't know too much in depth with Ninja Morph. But I know enough to change this. And it works fine. No problems. I changed it many times. So from there you're going to go to Framework. Now you're going to stroll down. And you're going to go where it says Framework-Res.APK. And you're going to click on that. Uh, there already exists a backup for I. Would you try to work with it? Would you like to replace it? Yes. I'm pretty much changing the individual image file over. That's what Ninja Morph is doing, changing images. Pretty good for now. It says extract in and let that go through. It might take a little bit because I guess it's like pulling all the files here. So you just got to let that sit for a sec. Uh, let that run. Now, like I said... Ninja Morph is something you can change a lot of images and things around, but you don't really just want to be jumping around in there changing anything because something might get stuck, you might erase something you don't want to, and you can cause a whole headache. But um, like I said, do a backup before you do this, and I recommend ROM Manager. ROM Manager is pretty easy for first-time users if not too sure about how to do backups and stuff. If you just download ROM Manager, it's free out of the market. And you, inside ROM Manager, you can click on um, make a backup on there. And you can have several different backups at uh, what point you were at. And if you ever restore the backup, you'll be at that exact point you were at while you did the backup. If you had any stored text messages or any call, anything, all that would show up at that same exact point you were at on that backup. So, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend do that. Uh, but yeah, the 4G LTE icons, you're going to need all four of those. There's four of them individually. One for the connected, one for the out, one for the in, and one for the in and out. There's four icons you have to change on here. I'm going to do all four on here and show you. But that's what you're going to need, and pretty much it'll work from there. That's it. But it's pretty simple stuff as long as you just follow this step by step on here. Let that extract. You see it takes a little bit. It's pulling a lot. But don't panic. Don't back out. Just be patient. Now if you notice my phone is blue and all this stuff on here. This I have running a ROM on here. And I also have a theme on top of my ROM. That's why you kind of see like why is it blue and all that. I'm also going to be posting a video pretty soon. Of how to change the notification on here. And put your own notification. See, I have my name on there, J Baller, Droidex, and you can put whatever you want to say in there. Go in that in my other video. But, um, okay, it takes you there. Now you're going to go to Res. Then you're going to go to Drawable-HDPI. Right here. 
Now these are all the images and the files on here. So we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says system data. Looks like this. System data and then you'll see it says in and out, in, connected, out. Go to connected first. And now you're going to go here. I changed mine to red to stick out but it'll show your 3G icon right there. Which is data connected and 3G, PNG and all that. You're going to touch on there. Now that will take you what you want to replace it with. Now this goes into your SD card with all the files and folders. I have mine in a specific folder so it's easy to find to and get to if I have to do it. I have it in my extracted folder. Let's go to my extracted. Scroll down. My 4G icons in here if you can see that good. Now first one we're going to do is connected. So connected. Click on that. Are you sure you want to replace it? Yes. Let that go. Should be replaced. What do you want to do now? We're going to click on res again. Repeat the process. Drawable dash HDPI. Stroll all the way down to system again. Then we're going to go to there's a connected. As you can see, the 4G is replaced now. Now we're going to go down to the data in. And we're going to repeat the process. So we're going to go 4G data in. Yes, replace that one. Back in the res drawable dash HTPI and I'm just gonna do this again system and we got in now we're gonna go to in and out change that one over in and out yes replace I'm gonna do the last one here like I said all these other things I wouldn't change or touch if you don't really know what you're doing in here if you, especially if you don't have a backup can't say uh, too many times how important it is to do a backup. System data out. Last one, data out. Yes. Now when I do the last one, sometimes I like to just go back in one more time before I finish it up just to make sure I got all four in there. Okay, now we're going to go to the data, show up, data out. 4G, data out. One, data in and out. Data in and data connected. After all that is done, you're going to back out. At the bottom right is this little arrow right there. You can click that and back out. Back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. Now when you get here, where it says new project finished and existing to the beginning part well, before we started, you're going to click on finish project. Now so which project do you want to finish? You click on the framework-res.apk. You click on that It'll create a package here. Let that load. This goes a little bit faster than the um, at first when I was doing the other load. All right. Now you're about to overwrite system framework and all. You're gonna say yes to that. Uh, Zipline APK. You're gonna click no to that one. Since you're changing, right, you must reboot. Click OK. Now it says please wait. Do you want to delete product? You could or not. I click no don't have to but it'll kind of get stuck there it won't do anything that's because the phone's in this process about to reboot and there you go it's rebooting that's just my ROM boot animation I have the Rubik's ROM I'm running but the phone is rebooting your phone should reboot from that point and give it a second and we should load up and I should have my 4G icons on here uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe and I have more tricks and hacks and stuff I'll be posting very soon here and I'll send all the 4G icons to only my subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed on here. And uh, any questions or any comments, concerns, errors you're running into, you can um, just comment on the video, and I'll reply right there. And um, one more disclaimer, got to read it out. I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your phone or anything you attempt on here. Whatever you do is totally 100% up to you, but I will help you through it, though, for sure. Um, now my phone is up and booting got it on here now if you look at the top BAM voila can't see that too good but 4G LTE and it's going connected in and out and the arrows are going boot it up and that's it alright well, thank you for watching and this is Jay Baller over and out